Every hot girl that you see at some point was a little baby wearing diapers and at some point will be an elder woman. Our assignment is to shift our mindset. When? Right, right here, right now. What's up guys, Derek, morepolitemartage.com. Today we are going to be reacting to Pickup Artist Bootcamp. This is revisiting the more dates section of my channel. It is, uh, you know, a while, fuck, I don't know, like when did I start doing that? Back when I was like 18, 19, I started really getting heavy into um, cold approach and like not being a pickup artist, even though like that's what it was classified as, I guess, if you actually dedicated any like specific amount of time to like allocated specifically going out to do pickup, it would be like, you know, PUA stuff. Um, even though in reality, it's like, okay, if anyone goes out to a bar to meet chicks or whatever, it's like, are you a PUA? Like, I don't know. But basically there was this book called The Game written by Neil Strauss. You might've heard of it. And that kind of like transformed my mindset on dating economy and women significantly and this was like back in the day when you know i was fucking petrified to even just like walk up to a chick and talk to her and the thing made it seem like this whole like mathematical equation essentially to get chicks and you know obviously i was quite compelled as were numerous other men who read this book and they ended up you know going out and you know trying some of the techniques and looking like fucking idiots and then you soon realize that the stuff is not congruent with 99% of people's personalities. You don't actually develop any skills from it. And you have to just like throw yourself into the fire and learn how to fucking talk. And that is kind of how you develop as a man and become able to socialize with females in a way that is actually like logical and like congruent with your personality and actually like develops you as a human so you can actually interact in social settings eloquently and sound like uh, not a robot essentially. So the thing though, is there are a lot of boot camps that still exist nowadays where essentially guys that were gurus or have like huge lay counts or have like brands online, big YouTube channels, whatever it is, surrounded around, you know, like getting women, you know, strategies around dating, you know, rotations, retention, shit like that. They will hold these boot camps where you go in person and essentially they, uh, you know, teach you ways to, you know, get chicks like in field is what you call it. Like go out in field and um, they sort of coach you through it and stuff. And it sounds kind of stupid, but when you think about it, some guys are so petrified of doing this stuff that having a coach paying to do it puts you in a position where you might otherwise not be doing it if you weren't realizing how much money you're fucking losing by not doing it now. In addition to that, you have a guy there who's literally like peer pressuring the fuck out of you and making you feel like dog shit if you're not doing it. So there's a lot of different aspects that kind of like come together in those boot camps to like push guys to like progress. And it can be fairly successful. Like it can be the thing that pushes guys out of their comfort zone and out of their shell and kind of like get them started on their trajectory towards actually being able to interact with the opposite sex. So anyway, I don't think they're all bad. I think, you know, some of them are pretty scammy though, where you have uh, like some like wannabe gurus who to be honest, like shouldn't be fucking coaching at all, who put on this shit and they like, you know, put out ridiculous techniques that are just, you know, based on nothing. Or, you know, they claim they have some unique special system that is going to be superior to everyone else. And, you know, you gotta work with them. You know, it's the same thing with like, <laughs> like bodybuilding gurus. You think like one coach knows like the secret to fucking getting huge or whatever. And then you soon realize that it is pretty much comes down to genetics at the end of the day. Now it doesn't come down to genetics with uh, being able to talk to girls, but a lot of coaches will make it seem like there are like special things you need to do. There's like NLP, there's like key knowing, there's like uh, DHV spikes. There's a lot of weird shit. And it, you know, it gets really complicated. And the more you overthink it, the more it becomes feels like something you might have to like pay an expert to teach you because it's like, wow, like how could I possibly consolidate all this complicated information on my own? I must hire somebody who knows what the fuck they're doing. When in reality, the ultimate way to progress is just, you know, you know, like get in shape, get a good wardrobe, uh, max yourself out and like whatever aspects you can in a, you know, uh, uh, social standing aspect, you know, how, uh, you know, do you have a, I don't know, like a, 
authoritative role in life. Like, I don't know how to explain. Like if you're a leader, you know, you're, uh, you know, have a own a business and you like have, you know, several employees, you have some sort of like, um, attributes that show you're like a leader in society in some aspect, you know, that's obviously something that is highly sought after and women find attractive or, you know, men, you know, look up to you. You're like a, you know, a role model for people, you know, something that's an attractive feature. Obviously there are other like physical features as well, like being athletic, uh, as lean as possible, like within reason, obviously not getting to like deathly low levels, but like, you know, like 10, 12% body fat, looking athletic, having some muscle on you, having a good wardrobe, good hygiene, you know, basic shit that you probably know. But there is the social aspect. You could be a complete fucking idiot when it comes to talking to people and it doesn't really matter as much. Sure, the other stuff can help you not have to put as much effort into the social aspect. But if you're like a complete and utter buffoon when it comes to speaking, a lot of this other stuff can only help you so far. So that is where, you know, the pickup shit, you know, can become, uh, some people defer to it and, you know, will spend a lot of money on these boot camps, like thousands of dollars to learn from the best. So a lot of people told me to watch this video. I'm looking forward to it. I have not watched it yet. So you're gonna get my live reaction and um, it's by Channel 5 with Andrew Kelligan. Coverage of our experience at a pickup artist boot camp in Las Vegas, Nevada. In this episode, I joined aspiring PUAs Stanley, Air, and Christian as we're taught game and take it infield by Vince Kelvin. So I don't know if they ended up like picking a guy who's like really out there on purpose to make a more entertaining video. I would imagine that would be the case, but we shall see. Cause there are some guys who have stuff like this that's actually legit in my opinion. Like um, um, one guy on YouTube, uh, Coach Kyle. I don't know if you know, maybe you've seen his stuff. He doesn't post as often anymore. But that's a guy who's like an example of just like good natural game and will like help dudes get out of their comfort zone and shit. You know, I don't follow that stuff as much as I used to, but that's one guy I know who's legit. There are a lot of guys who aren't legit out there though and put out buffoonery, fucking nonsense shit. So anyways, let's see if this ends up being that or not. The girl will probably be in front of you at a time when you don't expect it. The cock blocker we gotta watch out for is ourselves. Ultimately, we think it's the girls we- Okay, I'm <laughs> We're like a few seconds in and I see the guy has like this giant fucking colorful mohawk thing and then we have dudes with aviators and like cowboy hats on and shit. Like I'm hoping this guy isn't doing the peacocking stuff from the game from like whatever, like 20 years ago or whatever it is. We think it's the time, we think it's us, we think it's that it's one thing. It's what we think. Every hot girl that you see at some point was a little baby wearing diapers and at some point will be an elder woman. Our assignment is to shift our mindset. When? Okay, so uh, I bet it sounded fucking ridiculous what he just said. Like, I can see what he's trying to do. He's trying to make it seem like they're not intimidating, which if it works for you, then fuck. Like, that's not, oh, I guess it's not a horrible strategy because at the end of the day, when you think about it, this is something I used to sort of try and wrap my head around too. It's like, why? This is like before I was able to, you know, talk to people and I was like petrified of fucking approaching girls. If you think about it, you're just walking up to a fucking tiny version of a human that's just skin and fucking bones at the end of the day. Like it is just another human made of the exact same composition as you. It's just like a skeleton with fucking skin around it. And you're still like, for some reason though, in your head, you get your stress levels heighten to like insane levels. Your fight or flight goes through the fucking roof like you're about to get like fucking murdered or robbed or something. Walking up to some like 110 pound, like five foot three chick um, because she's so hot. And it's like, it's just unreasonable, you know? And you have to like train your brain out of it. And I guess this is like one of his strategies. Right here, right now. You're watching Channel 5. Channel 5. Channel 5. After an intense few weeks on the road, Covering a covering events like the White Lives Matter rally in Huntington Beach. Kobe Bryant was assassinated by the Quins. Oh, shut the fuck up, bitch. And a punk rock concert on the mean streets of Los Angeles. Ah! I needed a pick me up, so to speak. That's when I discovered Vince, AKA the Cock Kelvin, a pickup artist who holds the Guinness Book record for most makeouts in a human lifetime. Over 5,000 makeouts. Vince Kelvin, the king of makeouts, hands down. Over 230 makeouts last year. This guy's insane, a ridiculous game. The best I've ever seen. Vince is also a salesman. He sells DVDs online, such as Pull Like a Pro. Massive sexual momentum. Thunder texting. 
You can tell by the fact this guy has DVDs and those like super old videos. He's like probably from the era of the Neil Strauss guys. Make Out Mastery and his complete collection, which cost $897. I learned that for only $129, I could join Vince's Brotherhood. And soon I was invited to a private boot camp at an undisclosed location. I was told nothing else but to meet my contact in the lobby of the Mirage Casino in Las Vegas. What the fuck? It, it was, it's from the cock. <laughs> Vince the cock, Kelvin, at gmail.com. Best, the cock. Nothing else but to meet my contact in the lobby of the Mirage Casino in Las Vegas. So this right here is where our journey begins. We're in the uh, lobby of the Mirage. What's going on? Hanging out, enjoying paradise. Where are we? The lobby of the Mirage. And what's important about the lobby of the Mirage? It's very Mirage-like. But where are we going after this? I don't really know. That's the, the whole adventure of this whole thing, right? You've been assigned to take us somewhere from here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to uh, the suite that we have. And what kind of stuff is going on up in the suite? Can't really tell you. Uh, yeah, you'll, you'll see. I don't know. I don't want to color it for you. I want you to experience it on your own, so. How you doing? My name's Andrew, good to meet you. Andrew! This is a basic structure for interaction. Let's see. So he says, uh, comment, question, your brief take on it. Continue. What the fuck? What you feel slash want. Restricted request. Role play. Continue. Close. This kind of reminds me of the mystery method, dude. I'm telling you. Flow. First, we got to make comments. We don't do pickup lines. They're retarded. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I remember there was like a lot of canned openers that uh, the mystery method had and like I remember like reading some of the shit that I had written down and it was like fuck dude like this is so it's you can tell it's not like what you would say it's very unlikely that so maybe you know maybe this is good you make a comment that's like ideally creative and like unique something you notice rather than just like a a fucking predetermined thing that is, or a story that you, you've said like 57 times that is actually not even true. Um, so, you know, sounds okay so far. Your hair. Wow. wow. Your hair. Your hair. Your wow. Hair. You could say. Your hair. You go, wow, interesting outfit. Ideally we say, cool, interesting. Who knows, maybe we'll run into each other again. Who knows, maybe we'll run into each other again. Look at a woman and go, I wonder what her insecurities are. They are pickup artists, and these are their stories. How's it going, guys? My name is Stanley. And I'm a singer. And just looking for that pure self-expression so I don't hold back and really acknowledge who I am at the core. My name's Akash Inti. Name, Akash Inti. I also go by Air, my initials. I am born May 28th, so I'm a Gemini. Air. And what was the last one? A total number of makeouts. Like ever or yeah, over the past like 24 hours? Ah, uh, I mean, I haven't counted. Count total number or over the past 24 hours. Fucking, this guy's hard. Counted them, right? Uh, but I, like I said, like yesterday, like probably in the hundreds. For sure. So what brought you out here? Vegas. I mean, come on. What, what, what else, you know? The fact that they quantify success by makeouts is like the most PUA shit ever. Like, the thing that annoyed me the most when I was in the, involved in this stuff is I used to watch guys like Simple Pickup, guys like, um, I don't know, even like, fuck, I can't think of another example off the top, top of my head. Like, there, there's a few channels, but I don't remember their names, but they would show them doing like ridiculous shit or you know their normal approaches and getting numbers but they would never like there was no way for them to prove that went further than that but when you're naive and you have not actually like thrown yourself into the fire to actually be in this kind of a situation before your naive mind does not realize that most of these numbers don't actually equate to real life like oh this girl's actually going to go on a date with you which is then going to yield a fucking like actual relationship out of it and or you know a lay or something of substance rather they would use numbers as a justification for their credibility 
or makeouts in a club. And it's just like, like who the fuck cares? But back then, you know, when you're young and naive and getting into this shit, you're like, oh yeah, this guy fucking made out with a chick the other night. Like that's, that's a fucking player, dude. Like this guy knows his shit. Or he got a number, like what? You got a fucking number? Even though it was like, probably like a horseshit number or ended up going nowhere. You know, for him, that was a success though. Cause he got a video of him getting a number and it's just like, that's the kind of shit that some of these guys will publish. Catching up with uh, some of the guys though. Number of makeouts I've had is uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a big amount, <laughs> but I'm not sure if I can count them on my hands. It would be over 30, around 30, not more than 40, I don't think, no. Yeah, Vince is the master. <laughs> What can you tell us about Vince? So where to start, right? Uh, there's there's so many things. Uh, everything from the look, the fashion, and everything like that. Um, but also, like, truly a mar marvelous like communicator, not only with women on the streets, um, but just overall, right? I remember I went through a haunting once, and he was like one of the like, few guys that picked up the phone like at 12 a.m. Went through a what? Haunting. What happened? Ooh, uh, there was like weird spirit that latched onto my little sister, but it got pretty intense, you know, shit moving around. I'm like, who the hell do I call? Each and every one of the students, we're here for like different reasons. Throughout the years, some people say, this guy is crazy. Oh, he's got balls. I have lovely testicles, but you know, actually, I don't even know if they're that big. I don't think so. I don't think my balls are very big. It's an illusion. So our first mission is to bring more ease, to be open, to be a person that it's easy to be around you. It's like your shirt and her shirt created hers. Yes, That's oh, surreal. Yeah. Whoa, you couldn't have it better planned, but it takes a special man to pay attention to those kinds of things. <laughs> I'm a little more decisive than most people. I can have a little more fun than most people, but you don't want to be the nice guy with whom they had a nice conversation. Well, I'm just about to catch up. We were just going across the street. I'm tempted to say we stay in touch. Who's the secretary out of the three of you? We're all married. Uh, well, I hope you guys have a, 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 like a very strong marriage or is it like... Mm. Strong marriage. Well, here I am just exercising my ability to communicate with everyone, right? This is what we do in the world. Hey, whose party is it? What you mean? It's our What you mean? Party. It's your party. Where's the party? party? Yeah. Right there. See, it's like, you're probably cringing as hard as I am, but it's like, that's the kind of shit that you have to be able to just deal with, you know? Like, if you're actually going to go out to clubs and go out and, you know, meet people, throw yourself in the fire like that guy, even though that was definitely blew up in his face, we don't even need to see the outcome of that to know. You know, that's that's the kind of thing you have to be okay with dealing with. And it's going to happen. You know, it happens to everyone. So, um, like, the thing, though, that you start to realize is it's not really what you say. It's how you say it and how you come across. Now, obviously, within reason, you can't say something fucking ridiculous. But even still, if you do it with, like, decent amount of confidence, fluidity, etc., it comes across a lot better than even if you say something that's totally objectively normal on paper... If you come across as creepy and weird with your delivery of it, chicks are gonna be weirded out. And especially if you're dressed like a fucking, like I don't even know dude, like this, these guys are definitely have to have like pinnacle fucking game to overcome some of the shit in my opinion. Like showing up with like shoulder pads and a fucking crocodile Dundee hat. Like this shit is, <laughs> is, not, is not helping in my opinion. If you don't get much of a response right away, don't go into a question. Make a comment about your take on it. I like to party. <laughs> yeah, have fun. <laughs> I struggle with like pornography addiction and stuff like that, like fear of rejection and stuff like that. Like if I went up to a girl and she said no or like didn't, uh, I took it really hard on myself and it kind of made me not want to go out there and put myself out there. So I kind of made myself even more closed off. Have you ever been in a relationship before? Yeah. Kind of in one right now. Yeah. With who? The, uh, it's my neighbor. <laughs> Why the fuck is this guy like, saying this shit on camera? Like, does he not know that this is going to get published? We're kind of dating. For sure. Is it exclusive? It's uh, pretty exclusive. Yeah. It's going good. 
Like obviously the uh, the chance to blur your face was there. Like the other guy in the group had his face blurred and yet this guy's just like wide out in the open, hitting on chicks, talking about his fucking neighbor. Like it was wild. How'd you get involved in the pickup artist community? Uh, I read the game, right? Go fucking figure, you know? You can tell, you can spot a guy who read the game a mile away. I was, uh, I remember seeing uh, actually the pickup artist on VH1 when I was in like seventh or eighth grade. I just thought like being like a seventh or eighth grade boy, right? Like who's like, oh wow, look at these guys. They're like figuring this out. And being the nerd that I am, right? I'm like just super intellectual and all that stuff too. It's like, I wanted to like see like, what's this stuff about, you know, so. The problem is when you start to look at this too analytically and you come at it from the approach of like, this is a formula, a formula to solve. And it's just like, you just have to do the right, say the right thing and do the right maneuver and finagle the fucking situation the right way. That's where you start to get into hot water and you start going down the rabbit hole of like creepiness in my opinion, because you almost, even if you get really good and fluid at saying, you know, these canned fucking routines and stuff, it's not even your personality. So it's like how maybe at best case scenario, you get the chick, you know, you end up sleeping with her the same night or whatever, but it's like, is, that, is it gonna progress past that point when you're not even close to the fucking human that just read through this gamut of goddamn bullshit material that isn't even real? Like all of these like DHV stories, all these fucking weird like uh, nags in the middle of it, you know, to knock your value down and like spike yourself up and make it seem like you're superior, even though you, you know, fucking hate yourself. <laughs> like it's weird, it's weird shit, dude. And it's almost like my, my stance has always been just like, develop yourself as much as possible and throw yourself into the fire and like learn how to talk. Cause that's the only way, in my opinion, that you develop quickly and organically in a way that's actually going to translate into other areas of your life, like job interviews, you know, um, you know, meeting, I don't know, your girlfriend's family when you go to meet her, being able to be, you know, a good life of the party and actually have humor and interject with witty fucking remarks and whatnot. That kind of stuff you don't develop when you're doing like the game shit. The game shit, you just learn how to like read a script extremely well and be a good actor. Whereas the other way, you look like an idiot probably more so off the bat because you really don't even know what to say after saying, you know, I thought you were attractive and you know, wanted to come up to you, whatever it is that you open with, but you actually develop after that point. And then you start to be able to just come up with shit when you actually, there should be nothing in your head. You just fucking talk like you're talking to, how smoothly do you talk to your buddy? You know, like you talk, you talk to your best friend. Like that's, that's where you need to get to with women, in my opinion, before you can actually be like good at like game. When in reality, it's not game. It's just like talking to humans, you know? That's how like, I feel like you would quantify somebody who's evolved to be, I don't know, good at this stuff. If you get to a point where you can talk to women as comfortably as you talk to men, you know, versus this kind of shit where it's like, it's like, oh my God, like I didn't do the right fucking DHV spike. So it's not gonna lead to, you know, seduction step two and like the module of the fucking mystery method, which means I will not get sex. I will not get sex because I didn't <laughs> complete this part of the equation. Like it's fucking ridiculous. Your beingness, you know, that people are able to pick up on that. I mean, that's that's how we met uh, earlier. Uh, she, she came by, that's how we met. It was just through this whole thing, right? So, wonderful. If I've learned anything from this whole art in and of itself, it's just understanding a person, right? Seeing like there's so much more than meets the eye. Like, yeah, the eye catches things, but how much does it really catch to some degree, you know? Check this out. When I was young, I was actually like a super, I was a little kid who would like go out in like the grocery store and I would just say hi to everyone, you know? That's I was like, cute. I was like, oh, hi, my name is Akash. And like something happened in like maybe like early kindergarten where it was just like, an event, an incident, like a private family incident happened where it was just like, don't do that anymore, right? So like part of this whole thing has really just been kind of reconnecting with that part of me, right? Because that, that's who I was as a little kid. So did he pick you up last night? Yeah. So check this out. She's really, really cool, right? She, she just came across from the East Coast, right? That's what a lot of this is, right? Is exploring the unknown and really seeing what's there, right? And what can you find? I mean, there's some... This guy obviously is like, relatively comfortable in his own skin given the fact that he's like so fluently talking to this guy while he's on camera while he's in this fucking weird get up but it's like i feel like he's still stuck in the fucking what era is the neil strauss stuff like 2000s uh maybe even earlier like i don't really remember but um like peacocking that kind of stuff i don't know man it's definitely uh, not what i would speculate to be the best strategy 
scary moments to it. I mean, I know oh, for myself. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I mean, I'm sure for you last night, right? Like with the, uh, I don't know, with some of the guys out there. Hello, hello, how you doing, huh? Well, why you standing around with a clown when you supposed to be fucking around with the twin now, huh? Hello. Twin and did it again. Six black bitches in the pants. She bunked though, it was a bitch ugly as fuck. Hey, are you guys single? Hey, don't check me, check your bitch. The tendency is to assume that if it's not happening, it's my fault. Those size matter at the level of what? Balls, penis, height. Balls or penis, bro. Arms, bank account. If you think it matters, it does. I've been the guy who's like, I'm just going out, no friends, anything like that. No, no alcohol, no drugs, no nothing. And just making sure that I figure it out. And that's tough. And that's raw. That's as raw as it gets. That is true. You know, not having any crutches, no friends to support you, nothing back to, uh, nothing to kind of fall back on. But, you know, that's throwing yourself into the fire, I guess. And this guy seems to have, uh, you know, done that, I guess. One of the byproducts of studying this is, I mean, you do, you do get laid. America is back open, baby. It's make out time. <laughs> Guys, quick question. Make out. Too early or are we good? Wait, what? So, no, no, you, you, the shy one, run with me. Ah, here, sir. To be a pickup artist means you gotta pick yourself up and pick up people. It's an elevation. You're so portable. portable? I want, yeah, you look very portable. Oh, oh my God. God. This is so portable. Yeah. Woo, woo. That sexual assault, bro. You do that with a black woman, you're going down. Yeah! I'm Stan. Hi. Stan the man. Hi, Stan the man. Can I recite your poem? Sure. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Beneath the shadows in your eyes lies a being that. Hold on one sec. <laughs> yeah, I'm growing every single day, you know? I don't know what tomorrow holds, and to me, it's just all about willingness, you know? It's like, that's what it's all about, you know? So what's up? What, what are you guys here for? What are you celebrating? Celebrating life. I mean, what else is there to celebrate? You know, you have to have a reason for everything. Oh, wow. Well, I'm single. That lets you know that. So what's, what your, what's your next move? What's my next move? My next move is the moment. The next moment. The here, the now. Okay, that's weak. I got a little, I got a next moment okay. move right here. Oh, wait, 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 no. Come that on. might be a little too much. <laughs> We're a dream. Say I'm him, not them. That dream come Hello. True. Players do what they want, suckers do what they can. All of those guys are awesome. They're Give it everything up. Everything a woman ever wanted, and they're everything the world needs. This is a demonstration of intelligence, wisdom, sophistication. So, how many bitches you kissed? 5,000. Shit. We don't kiss every bitch. We nut on their faces and break their purses. I understand. Like, some chicks, they're just like, they don't like it in the pussy, they like it in the ass, it's their thing, you know, what can I say? But what are you talking about? Hey, it's twins for the motherfucking win. And if ever a girl goes like, uh, is that your best pickup line? You go, is that your best answer to what you think is the best pickup line? You watching Channel 5. That was it? Damn, dude, is there a part two? <laughs> That's, uh, yeah. oh, man. Um, yeah, so I guess that's sort of what I'd expect, you know, from boot camps. You know, usually it's like in a club or whatever, but maybe, you know, the audio quality wouldn't have been good enough. There's a lot of shit like that, though, online of, you know, infield footage of guys, you know, going out with their, uh, the squad and, you know, trying to pick up chicks and whatnot. And, um, I think the best way to kind of, uh, like personally is to just integrate it into your life rather than you know allocating blocks of time to go out and approaching and mass approaching and shit like that like yeah you i guess you can develop faster you know when you first start doing that and like that's certainly what i did back in the day for like exposure therapy but after a while like it becomes far more well to be honest online dating is the most efficient thing and it makes the most sense for individuals who have you know a good enough profile, I guess, to get the results they want, but above and beyond that, just integrating it into your life. You know, you're at the grocery store. I always use the example of, oh, you're getting your Greek yogurt and you happen to see a chick you think's cute, go up to her, you know? 
walk up to her, you have three second, three second rule is like a fucking PUA term to be honest, but it's kind of legit in real life practical application. If you give yourself more than three seconds, you're gonna start overthinking it, looking weird, getting paranoid and in your head and you're just not gonna do it and or by the time you do it, you've already probably had her notice that you're fucking looming around like a creepy weirdo and uh, your approach is going to be a lot less fluid because you're just super in your head about it and it's obvious because you took fucking way too long to walk up to her. Like, there's no reason you should be hesitating to begin with. So yeah, just incorporate it into your life. You know, you're at school, if that's even a fucking thing now. Um, I don't really know if schools are still uh, like in person anymore, to be honest. I guess it depends on if you're in uh, post-secondary or what, but um, when you're going to get your groceries, when you're fucking at school, when you're you know running errands, whatever it is, and maybe going out clubbing soon, you know? I, I guess it depends where you live, but I'm sure there are social spaces that are open nowadays uh, more recently than, uh, I guess in 2020, so I guess that's a you know, good sign. But yeah, that is my reaction to the Pickup Artist Bootcamp. You know, it's kind of uh, a bit of some deja vu thinking of some of that stuff, but, and I can't, I can't relate to it entirely with like, you know, I've never tried the peacocking shit. I've never tried some of this extreme canned material to the point where like, I tried the mystery method maybe like two or three times. And I was like, fuck, this is just not working, dude. Like this is not going to, help me progress at all and even if i do make this work it's not going to help me like develop so i just started throwing myself into the fire and like figuring it out and you know just crashing and burning several times until i became good enough at speaking that i could just fucking hold my own um and that's what i would recommend too so anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed that one a little bit of a tangent from the regular content revisiting some of the more date shit hopefully you guys enjoyed it like subscribe also check out channel five with andrew kelligan drop a like on the video and uh, you know, check out their other stuff. I haven't, I guess the Hoff twins might be the uh, same two dudes who were in the pickup artist bootcamp video. So check that out if you are, uh, you know, it looks like a funny channel. So a fucking huge channel for the amount of content too. Jesus, like what, they have like six videos, <laughs> god damn. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, check out my blog, moreplacemoredates.com. Follow me on Instagram, at moreplacemoredates. Facebook, Snapchat, not BitChute, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below my TRT clinic. It's all telemedicine from the comfort of your own home. Gorilla Mind, nootropic formulas, Gorilla Mode, pre-workout formulas, I design myself from scratch. Recommended lab tests and diagnostics, stay on top of your health. Recommended diet model for newbies who want to learn how to um, hit their macronutrient needs as well as their micronutrient needs at the same time as well as being mindful about sports performance, sleep hygiene, gut health, et cetera, not just a cookie cutter influencer diet from your favorite uh, you know, Instagram influencer who just takes steroids and doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about. Rather, this is designed for athletes, regardless if you're natural or not, and is mindful of actually staying healthy and high performing at the same time. Um, and anything else I am associated with it is all in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.